My freshman year here, I was on my way to class. I spaced out. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was, where I was going, or why I was going there. I spent the next hour wandering the campus until I jogged my memory. During his first years as a college student at Southern Connecticut State University, Mark LaFaro has experienced substantial challenges after being diagnosed with a heart condition. Well, it started in my senior year of high school. I spent two or three years going in and out of the hospital, doing week-long stays, weekend stays, and sometimes up to two weeks. During my sleep, my heart rate drops to about 10 or 11, which doctors compare to slipping into a small coma every time I go to bed. Having a heart condition negatively affected Mark's first years as a college student. I was trying to go to class and I'd space out on the medication and I'd wander around campus for an hour or two. I missed a, a good deal of class. Even though I was getting the work done, I had to submit it all electronically. On top of all the testing and on top of everything that I was going through at the time, I, I did still have to get the work done. And so I fell behind. Although Mark was facing an uphill battle, he found encouragement within the Disability Resource Center at SCSU. I started with the DRC and met with Deb Fairchild before my freshman year here. She really helped me out as far as making sure I was given an environment where I could succeed, really making sure that I was staying on top of my work even though I was being held back a little bit. Reaching out to other students with disabilities helped Mark overcome his struggles. When you see a student with a disability being active in uh, the TV studio or doing really great things in their major, and that's Mark. He shared with others and he became a person that spoke to prospective students routinely. Mark also learned how to cope with his disability by becoming involved with the SCSU TV station. Sophomore year I came in as a general member. My junior year I held the assistant technical position. They're my family away from home. You know, everyone's so caring and charismatic and loving. You can count on other people to be there for you. You can count on people to, to care for you and do things for you, and that's what SCSU TV has been for me. Realizing that his condition is not a burden has been the first step to a successful future. I'm going to be graduating. I have a job waiting for me upon graduation, and I feel stronger than ever. I've learned over the years that having a disability is not it's not a burden, it's not a hindrance, but rather it's a strength. And uh, I'm a stronger person now for going through all this.